Hey, what's going on, Sag? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Thanks for joining me today. So just as I was getting the deck ready um, to start doing your reading, I got a really strong um, impression that there is somebody that you're either of German descent or living in Germany, and you might be watching the channel for the first time, but you were guided here to hear a particular message. I mean, along with everybody else, but sometimes I just really, I hear guidance in accents or in languages that I don't understand. And I heard the words Willkommen, and I think I said that incorrectly, but anyway, like if that's you, just let me know if you're out there. But anyway, I wanna welcome everyone, every one of you to the channel, and thanks for being here for your April 2020 bonus reading. So I do a monthly read, I do a wealth and abundance, I do a mid-month, and to round out the readings, I do a bonus reading, which is I do research for just really different reads to help you on your journey. And this one is called Clear the Cobwebs. I'm using the Gilded Tarot. So um, this is gonna look at what is happening between your conscious and subconscious mind. So I think it'll provide you some excellent guidance. So let's have a look here. I just wanted to remind you guys to um, subscribe to the channel and definitely tap the notification bell, you guys, whether you're a current subscriber or an existing subscriber, so that you'll actually see my videos when they come out. All right, so let's see. What is occupying your conscious mind right now? So let's, it's this called the surface. So you've got the Knight of Wands here. So you could really be looking for the next step. Like, what should you do now? With, like, I feel like there was some sort of forward mo momentum going on for you guys. And then it just came to a screeching halt. And like, what's going on? And you're just kind of sitting there. Um, like you were going along your journey. And then like, boom, you're stopped dead. So your your conscious mind could be wondering like, what is just happening right now? You know, um, uh, what is like, absolutely. And I'm just getting sort of a sense of like, an alert confusion, like just sort of like, you know how when, if you ever watch um, like groundhogs, when they pop up out of their hole and they're just sort of looking around, and then they pop back down. I get the feeling that that's what you guys are doing. You're just sort of like, um, I'm kind of safe here, but I'd like to get out and do something. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on. So I'm getting sort of a, like that, that really like a sense of confusion, but you're waiting, like kind of like a pregnant pause. So let's see what is occupying your subconscious mind right now. And this is called the hidden. Fascinating. So you have the Ten of Cups here. So you really just want to be happy in whatever it is that you're doing. And I feel like you feel like there's something preventing you from being happy in the moment because you feel like something is missing. But I mean, in your subconscious mind, your subconscious mind is fine. You know, it's just maybe on your conscious level, you're like, well, there's got to be more than this. But what if you could just be happy doing exactly what it is right now and wait patiently for the universe to bring the next step of your life? And what if you just were content with what you have, you know, and sitting and waiting patiently? I don't know if you guys ever watched So You Think You Can Dance. I was watching it years ago, and one of the judges was saying that um, for dance partners, one of the most intense things that another partner can do is wait while their other partner finishes up their whatever whirly gigs or what i don't know i'm not a dancer but they just make it look so beautiful and patient and statuesque so maybe instead of like being a nervous energy and like ooh, ooh, what's gonna happen next you know maybe just go I'm so fantastic in this moment anyway. It doesn't matter what's going on. You know, kind of that don't hate me because I'm beautiful vibe. Do you know what I mean? And you can just go, I'm so fabulous even while the universe prepares me for my next step. So that's where I'm seeing here because underneath, you know, the vibe is like, hey, this is really cool. But on top, you're like, Boop, what's next? So let's see the direction card. And this is going to go, what should I be focusing on? <laughs> Not good. <laughs> I'm sorry, you've got the nine of swords. 
So why would you want to focus on that nine of swords stressed out energy maybe you should be focusing on not doing that like this energy here while you're waiting you know focus on moving away from that i mean if you want to focus on being a nervous wreck i mean i guess be my guest but there's no need to do it because internally you're enjoying the pause externally maybe not so much you know maybe it feels like there's something wrong um Funny, this thing that I read yesterday, guys, it was uh, it was saying the need to be busy all the time is a trauma response. So maybe you should be focusing on why you think you need to be busy all the time. Like, is there some sort of anxiety that you're trying to not deal with? Or I don't know, you, maybe you're not a fan of your own thoughts. You know, there's something going on there, but you can be happy your your heart seems happy it's like maybe there's just this layer that can be dissolved and maybe understanding how amazing you are just as you are will help dissolve that like you don't need to be producing every single minute of the day like you know your house doesn't need to be spotless dinner doesn't need to be on the dot of six or whenever you eat you know your clothes don't need to be ironed like just case in point um i pulled out my my shirt yesterday so I could be ready for these readings and it's incredibly wrinkled and I thought I should really iron that and then I thought nah <laughs> you know? and I'm cool with that so maybe learn to let your perfection go a little bit so that you can enjoy it and you know what the people around you might enjoy that a little bit let's see what the clutter is and what thoughts you need to release the three of wands and it's like there's always something better in the future but you don't know what the future is going to bring and you know this recent pandemic is just an absolute like it's a clarifier of that like who saw this coming you know what i mean like like if you're not enjoying the moment how can you enjoy the future that's never here so maybe instead of focusing on what's yet to come in Focus on what's happening here right in front of you and being okay in that moment, whatever is happening. Um, you know, sometimes you just need to be the mountain in the thunderstorm and you can let the storm pass and you can still be strong and majestic in your own right, no matter what is going on around you. So, you know, you can do all those things that I always talk about in my readings. If you watch me frequently, you know that I like to talk about doing yoga and meditation and, of course, the hot bubble bath. And if you want to throw in a glass of wine for yourself because that's what works for you, then do that. I mean, not throw it in the bath, but bring a glass of wine. Um, I just recently started doing Tai Chi, which is called Qigong, or like walk your dog or, you know, go for a walk and what's happening now for you like not three years from now what's happening now and that could probably bring release to this a little bit and stop you from wondering what's going to happen next because there's only now you know so try to focus on that a little bit more and let's see the action card which is the first step towards clearing your mind and getting focused so you have the seven of pentacles and this is a really centered card this is like planting your seeds right now like and I'm getting these words that is what can you do right now that your future self can be thankful for you know so instead of standing out and staring into the future and wondering what it holds like what can you do now focus on now don't focus on like I said three years from now because three years from now isn't here what you have is the here and now so for instance you know can you build something? Can you read a book that is going to educate you? I don't know. Can you exercise? You know, if you want to be fit, like what are you doing? Like just take care of yourself in the moment and everything else will unfold as it should. And the more comfortable and safe and loved you feel, um, the more experiences like that you're going to attract. So release perfection a little bit. Release the worry. You're here to enjoy yourself and not be perfect. So look at today you know and then tomorrow look at that and then you know every day is today so wake up and enjoy today to the fullest 
and just really take care of yourself in the moment and just remember your perfection in your stillness. So guys, I really hope this was a helpful reading. I really enjoyed doing this read for you. So I just wanted to send you love and light, many blessings and take care.